what it do, what it do, ladies and gents. It's your boy Walt Real, and again with another reaction video. So, as seen in the title, this teaser trailer is called Blonde. Now, just given off the images that I saw online, I'm guessing that it's going to be a movie or a biopic or something of uh, uh, Marilyn Monroe. The young lady in it. I don't know for sure, but uh, it's an actress who's been in the game for quite a while that I think is going to push up steam. Um, I believe her name is Anna D. Arima, Ar Ar Armas, or something like that. Um, forgive me out there if, if, she, if, if she's watching this video, forgive me for butchering your name. No disrespect. It's just, just how I am. It's just I'm bad at names. But I'm not for sure. So, I'm not going to waste any more of your guys' time. Let's get into what we came here for. So, no more talk. Let's get into this thing. Wow. Um, as what trees teasers trailers do, they tease. Um, so we didn't really get much in that trailer. Um, before we get in depth on it, I'm gonna go ahead and rate it first. I know that's kind of backwards when you see most people who are doing reviews, movie reviews, or reactions, or whatever else here on this channel. We do a dope and nope. Dope means obviously it was awesome, good, or satisfactory. Nope means it, it was trash, wasn't feeling it, whatever the case may be. And normally people go through the commentary and tell you what they think about it before they rate it. But uh, I'm just going to let you know right off the rip what I thought about the trailer. I thought it was all right. It wasn't nothing really bad to it, so I can't hang on it. So I have to give it a dope. Yep. Now, um, let's dig into it a little bit. And then, um, you know, you guys can enjoy the rest of your day. And you don't have to see my ridiculous face. You feel me? So... Yes, it is the actress that I thought it was playing, which is crazy because, you know, sometimes when people are portraying roles and they color hair and they do little uh, changes here and there, you can't really tell who that person is. And, um, but I believe she's is a rising star. From my understanding, there was information about one of her first roles um, that she didn't know how to speak English at all. And I think the that first role, or at least major role, was War Dogs. Now, I personally haven't seen that movie myself. I will, though. But they said that she basically... You know, she finessed her way and basically tried to play it off, which is hard to do. It's hard to do when you do not know how to speak that uh, uh, a language you don't know. And they got her in English class and she picked it up real quick. And the rest is history. Now, that just lets me know what kind what what kind of character she has that she is willing to just go all in knowing that um, if she don't grind or hustle she can miss her opportunity of thriving so that shows dedication that shows um, commitment that shows drive Especially to pick up a language in a short amount of time in order to finish or complete a film. So I got to give her props on that. Also, um, my understanding is she is from Cuba. So she has, she is either, you know, she's Spanish or Latin or, you know, whatever. And that is amazing to me because a lot of times in Hollywood, you see a lot of white actors portray people of color in roles never vice versa 
And in the clip that we both watched together, in this short clip, it when she speaks or when she was singing and all that kind of stuff, you got that that Marilyn Monroe vibe. The look and everything. And back in those days, uh, when uh, supermodels and all that kind of stuff um, actually reflect what women actually look like back then, you know, um, men actually and women actually uh, admire the natural look and frame of a female uh, compared to today where, I mean, people are coming around now and starting to embrace the skin that they're in and um, in all forms of fashion. Um, but from like, I want to say maybe the 90s on to like maybe 2010 or 2015, um, models were tall and bony and did not reflect what uh, what most women look like and uh, they were shaming women if they wasn't that slim and it's fitting that she's playing this role because it's fitting because she's playing this role because she she embodies uh, Marilyn Monroe um so it's going to be interesting to see how well she does because a lot of people are, are fans of her. She's every role that I know of that she's played in. Uh, she takes on that role. So basically inherits the inherits the traits of what that character is supposed to be so um we'll see it comes out in september 23rd that's a little ways away um hopefully they come out with an actual real trailer and um we get in depth in, in sort of what to look forward to in this movie but you tell me what you think you tell me what you think of this teaser trailer. You tell me what you think of my reaction. As always, if you're new to this channel, man, <laughs> I hate, it's bare repeating, but if you're new to my channel, first of all, welcome. Appreciate you being here and taking the time to check out my content. It's very uh, uh, appreciative. And if you like it, go ahead, like, share, subscribe, all this stuff that YouTubers tell you. <laughs> But here on this channel, we keep it 100. Um, it's, I think it's, uh, it's rare nowadays, whether it be entertainment or not, where people are less likely themselves in order to give off an image to draw attention. Here on this channel, we just keep it 100, 100 at all, all times. So when you get my reaction, it's real, it's authentic. It, it may not be much. Some videos is uh, overly excited, whatever the case may be. But whatever you get from me is real. And I think that more people nowadays gravitate towards that because they just tired all the fake stuff in all aspects of life. So here you get real entertainment. You get genuine love. You get genuine, uh, genuine love, genuine um, reactions and um, all everything in, in my content so hope you like it and if there's anything that's out there that you want me to check out music entertainment movies whatever um just hit the comment section and i'll look into it and um just continue to get, uh, bring you guys awesome content and with that um i hope you guys are staying cool and the midwest is like hitting hundreds and 90s all up and down so I'm pretty sure it's hot in, in southern states and stuff like that. So please stay cool. Please stay hydrated. Drink water. And um, much love from your boy, Walt. And with that, 
I'm going to get out of here. Y'all stay cool out there. I'm going to holler at you later. One.